Next up on Unity Live at GDC, we're talking to Klaus from Zoic Games. We are back with Unity Live at GDC, and we're talking to Klaus from Zoic Games. Klaus, welcome. Thank you for Thank being you. with us. Welcome. Hi. It's great to have you here. Thank you. So, Zoic Games, uh, you've been around for a little while. Um, you've released Stick to the Man, Flipping Death. Tell us about those games. What's that experience been like? Oh, uh, it's it's been great. I've been, it's fun because I always tell people about Unity. It's like I don't think something would actually. It sounds really strange, but I don't think actually something would exist the way it is if Unity didn't was there. Because That's cool. I, I yeah, I know it's weird. <laughs> I've, I, I've been working with games for like, you know, twenty years now, more than twenty years. And uh, you know, starting as an artist, you always have to work with the engine. It's always complicated having developed your own engine. And when suddenly mm. this Unity appeared, it was like wow. It was like somebody. Just here's a camera, just pick it up and make the movie, you know. It really felt like that. It sounds like a total commercial right now, but <laughs> yeah. it actually does. Buy it now. <laughs> <laughs> it actually did. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a big break for us because we could um, uh, take on a bigger project that we couldn't do before, and it was just make it a lot easier, you know. And of course, you know, it's developed a lot during the last years so we worked oh, yeah. with it, changed a lot. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're. Um, we're super happy, and the last project we did, Faye, is, uh, has been uh, it's a big milestone in our yeah. company because it's a full 3D game. Mm -hmm. It's been a very big and hard project to do, and it's been amazing to work with Unity on cool. it. Cool. Yeah. So let's, let's have a little look at the lineage. So we've got a bit of uh, footage of Flipping Death. Yep. Um, yeah. I just want to give people a feel for, for the kind of what we like do. art do. style and, and stuff yeah. that you've done <laughs> in the past. Uh, yeah, I mean, we... we um, this game is actually coming out uh, in a few months, uh, so we're sort of finishing up right now, and it's kind of like a uh, we did like a, like we did stick it to the man, which has sort of like a similar art style. Uh, yeah. I'm actually the character designer on this game, so it's nice. a very personal project to me. Um, Good job. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I love working on these, uh, and it's a lot about humor. It's a lot about the art style. But what's what's cool about this game is, of course, that you can flip the whole world around. So it's actually built in full 3D. So it's not like a 2D game, as a lot of people ask. Uh, you can see the road is actually in 3D. Everything is built like a sort of like cardboard pieces that are cut out. Yep. Uh, and then everything is mo moving around. It's all skinned and rigged characters walking around the world. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a really fun project to work with. And this is this coming out soon on yeah. what platforms? Um, well, it's releasing it on pretty much anything. I mean, all the consoles, of course, so Xbox, oh, cool. uh, PS4, and the Switch. Sweet. And then PC and also Mac. So at this time, something r quite new for us as a small company is to release on all platforms at the same time, which cool. is uh, so it's something that we think will. And that's obviously uh, it's a good thing we have Unity. Too. And I'm going to single it out because I'm really excited about it because I, I got one recently, Switch. Right. <laughs> How's that been? What's that experience like developing for the Switch? Uh, we got the dev kits very early on, um, and then we. Uh, well, we're What's cool about the one thing we asked Nintendo f in the beginning was like, how are you going to support, uh, how's the support from Unity? And yeah. I heard that they were, you were working really closely together with Nintendo from the beginning, so mm -hmm. that was very nice to hear. Um, I mean, it's, it's been good to work with the Switch. You, it's obviously, as everybody knows, a developer, it's, it's a lower, um, it's, it's not as powerful as all the other consoles. You've yeah. got to make sure that you work for this one first. And then you know, make it, then you can sort of take it to other platforms after. Well, that's kind of a question. So, did you you started with with the switch and then scaled up, or did you we scale back actually. from the others? We, we, we like were supposed to, but we we got <laughs> uh, we had already you started. Got excited about yeah. the other questions. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Well, it's always like that, it's especially when you work with prototypes. It's like I always tell people when you do a prototype, you know, just go berserk and do whatever you want, and mm. don't think don't think about performance first because that actually hinders you from creativity. That's fair. And it's it's very nice to just like you know just do whatever you want to do and then think about. And then, of course, you kind of like scrap all of it, restart a little bit, use some of the code that you had before, and then build it up again. And then you got to take the lowest, uh, you know, you minority, what's it called, the lowest, um, the one that's the slowest, basically. Yeah, lowest platform requirements. Kind yeah, of exactly. Yeah. Um, but with Switch, well, with Flipping Desk, for example, it was um, it was really that we had started the project, and then we found out that the, the Switch was coming out, and I was like, okay, we're going to make sure it works for that one. So we backed up, make it, made it work for this one, too, and then sort of, so, so it was a, it's a good process. It worked out well. Yeah. Cool. And so your new project, Faye. Yeah. This is also due for release on Nintendo Switch. Is that correct? It is actually out. It is. is yes. It? Faye. Yeah, this is out. I have Faye. Do That's you? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just came out, so don't Yay. worry. Sorry. <laughs> You're not that behind. <laughs> <laughs> not that bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, no, yeah, it just uh, came out. And that was also, um, it wasn't meant to at the beginning to be for the Switch, but we had it running on Xbox and PS4 and PC. And then this is a project we do with EA, so it's quite a special project. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's, an, it's a first EA Originals project, so that means that they are backing us, helping us, but they also, which is very, very nice, they're letting us keep the IP, they're letting us keep do exactly what oh, we so want to do. so it's not like a typical publishing agreement. It's no, more just yeah, it's, a it's very, yeah. Oh, it's cool. kind of, uh, they're still definitely publishers for the project, and they are mm. doing whatever they can as, a, as a, they would do with any other projects. But uh, that's kind of like the idea is that they pick up somebody they think uh, is a creative developer and help them out and get a get cut through the noise, basically. Yeah. You know. Why don't we take a, a quick yeah. look at it, and you can sure. you can tell yeah. us about it as we see it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the project has uh, it's it's you play this little character uh, which is called Fay, and in, in Swedish it's, it actually means fairy. Okay. So uh, it's kind of like taking back the idea of having uh, this sort of dark mythical creatures that are protecting the forest. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's cool about it is is that you learn how to actually speak to the forest through these songs that you can. So, so you have this uh, little with the analog trigger, you can actually talk to kind of any kind of animal or plants or anything you see in there. You can try to connect to them and figure out how they work and sort of discover sort of like an ecosystem. And by using the ecosystem, you can sort of uncover the mystery of Fae and uncover the mystery of the world itself and figure out what's actually going on here. So it's, it's really, it's focused a lot on exploration. Um, it's a, a mini Zelda, you know, yeah. <laughs> in a way. I was, I was trying to not reference Zelda, but I know. Like I can I'll see do this, it. this <laughs> DNA there. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. No. Yeah, we're super proud of it. And um, I thought it was cool because the development was really Xbox, PC, and, and PS4. And then I was like, oh God, I know because of Unity. I'm like, just <laughs> let's try to see right if it there. runs in Switch, you know, <laughs> and then just plug it in. And in a few days, we had it actually first version up and running. But then, of course, you know, once you get into the harder levels, yeah. you have to do a lot of optimizations, and, and we worked really closely together with the Unity team because um, this was very early on when the you know, Unity was starting to support Switch mm -hmm. um, properly. So um, we were doing a lot of developments together, which was super nice, actually, and very interesting to get in to see how how you guys are actually developing the engine also. Yeah. So and just uh, kind of curious, I mean, it's quite a departure in art style from from um, what we done before. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, so what prompted that shift? I think um, I, I think we're all like big art fans, of course, at the Zoink, you know, and I just thought it was cool to do something different and we got a little bit, not tired, but we just like, we can do this too. And if we had to also, we thought like, if we have to do a 3D game again, we're a small team, how do we develop a style that's not too complicated, yeah. but still looks very striking? Yeah. Mm. Um, so it was, a, it was a mix of those things. We still we still like doing, of course, the sort of the flipping the that stick it to the man thing. Yeah, but, yeah. but it's cool to also play around and have, have something else. And you get a lot of energy back if you do something yeah, new. Yeah, taking you know. a break. Yeah, exactly. So, so what's what's next for your team? Like, what are you working on next? <sighs> I mean, I know you've been busy. Yeah. Been very <laughs> <laughs> I actually, we are already working on a few new prototypes. Yeah. Cool. Oh, wow. And we also, we're going to announce almost, I'm saying it already here, but we are working on a VR game. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so... Um, Exclusive. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, we're going to go out. We're working with a, uh, yeah, a big platform holder on something totally exciting right now, which cool. is one of my... Also, a really a pet project for me that's sort of developed into something bigger, so I'm super excited about that. Cool. And if people want to want to pick up Faye, they can just go to any store and, any and store. grab it. Yeah, it's all out there. Any platform at the moment, yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, class, thank you so much for thank coming you. and talking to us about yeah, it. Yeah, thank Thanks you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>